Hello everybody, Noel Jack here again with another Total Drama related video, except this one's going to be quite a bit different compared to all the other Total Drama videos I made in the past. Today I'll be doing my first ever Total Drama What If video. So this is one that actually came to mind, I thought it would be a good first one. What if Courtney actually started, actually wasn't cut from the beginning of the game and didn't have to debut, so this is basically a what if, meaning my opinion, my, my thoughts and theories and kind of how I, I think might, it might play it out, everyone will have their own opinions and I have mine, so Let's say that this is basically um, how I think it will turn out in this timeline. So, starting off, episode 1 is the Monster Hunt Challenge. Really not much change except Courtney's, Courtney's present in the game. Uh, Jeff and Bridget get out as well as Izzy, Harold, and... Osana, Justin, and Heather and Lindsay, and yeah, I think Courtney kind of would get her, get out around there too, with the rest. And Duncan and Owen will be the last one standing. Owen would, Owen winning would still happen, and get the first pick of the trailers, and he chooses the squash one. The only other change that happens is Heather doesn't get to have a bed to herself, have a bunk bed to herself, and has to share a bunk with Courtney, or it could go either way, but let's say that for everybody else it's the same. So that's one difference compared to the canon version. Episode 2 where one difference might actually happen at the end. It's the alien hunt challenge or something. Um, Corny probably gets out you know around the time DJ and Duncan get out or something I don't know but she makes it further with she basically goes with Duncan and DJ Gwen and Trent so there's basically a group of five going on Bridget and Jeff in this time when still kiss sadly people are getting sick of their you know see being around them kissing a lot but in this scenario, one person, only one person will be eliminated, and they all pick Bridget and Jeff, and only one of them will go home. And Jeff decides to quit, because he didn't want to have to go through what he had to go, of, go through an island ever since Bridget was eliminated, and Jeff was depressed. So I say, Jeff votes himself off, just to keep Bridget in the game, and thought Bridget deserved to stay longer, and since Jeff has already proven he was a powerful player in the last game... Bridget had to stay to do work on her own. So, Gwen and Trent win the challenge just like in the canon version. Gwen will pick Duncan first, then Trent will pick Lindsay just like in the original timeline, and Gwen will pick Lashana. Trent will pick Justin. Gwen will pick DJ, and Trent will pick Beth, and Gwen will choose Bridget to join her team. Trent chooses Owen over Harold because he knows Owen better. Gwen's like, let's pick Harold because there's no other guys left. Trent picks Izzy or Kaleidoscope as she still be calls herself that in this timeline. And then it's down to Courtney and Heather. Lashana, like in the original version, says, remember, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. And Gwen's like, we'll pick Heather. Heather was delighted that someone saw her as a worthy teammate, and that leaves Trent with Courtney, so it's all evened out. The episode will still pretty much play the same, except with Courtney and Bridget both in the competition. Courtney would basically be bossy, and Trent will try to throw the challenge for Gwen, and trying to do it without Courtney seeing. 
So then they vote off Izzy because Izzy kind of blew the challenge a little and Dun Duncan had a better act. So episode four will pretty much play the same except Bridget starts off the challenge instead of Harold by accident. So Bridget volunteers because she's a pro surfer and then the rest of it almost pretty much plays the same except Harold actually is the first go so it basically goes Bridget then Lindsay then DJ then Justin in the middle then Harold then Courtney then Gwen then Owen and then Duncan's last Duncan basically has the same score as Courtney who are both closest to Bridget and that means Gaffers won the first challenge the second challenge basically plays out the same Courtney's bossy, Lindsay does the, well, Breath does the stuff with the bracelets, and Lindsay does the arts and craft thing, whatever she does, and Gwen and Duncan go missing, the Taj Mahal Herald still happens in this timeline, but failed to the sequels, so, the tiebreaker still plays out the same, so there's really not much to say, except Courtney does get mad at Trent for, you know, accidentally for you know losing the challenge and that kind of stuff in the next episode which is episode 5 one major change happens instead of Justin being the one that tells Gwen off in front of everyone after breaking up with Trent yes Gwen does break up with Trent in this timeline Corny is the one that does it so yeah they all vote Trent off and Gwen had to, had to prove it in the next episode. But the next episode is our Aftermath episode. The only difference was Bridget and Courtney not being present in this timeline. So, Jeff is still a host. He might be assisted with Katie and Sadie. Who knows? And Izzy and Trent are still the guest. So, Gwen had to... So, the next episode will pretty much play out the same. Izzy does return in the game. Which made Corny really mad. Izzy goes by Izzy just like in the original timeline. So Gwen, DJ, and Bridget all vote for Heather. While Oshana, he Harold, and Heather vote for Gwen. And Gwen actually votes herself off. So that makes Gwen out. In the next episode... Well... How will it turn out? Episode 9. Almost everything still plays out the same. Except with... Yeah, um... Bridget and Corny definitely make it far, but kind of... Bridget kind of bumps her head and or something. I don't know what she does. Or Courtney either. Or she and Duncan are the ones left. And Lashana's the one that actually wins the challenge. Like the original version. In the next episode, well, DJ still had this alliance with Chef. He got to be the scarer, and Beth was still the scarer. Courtney was really bossy, and she and Lindsay had her their rivalry in this, you know, timeline. Also, their team lost again. And this time, it was either going to be Corny or Justin. So, DJ again steps up and quits, like in the original version. Episode 10 will likely play out the same. Owen gets injured, Gaffers win, Harold saves the day. In the next episode, where they do the war challenge, everyone voted for Izzy. Justin was lazy and Courtney bossed him around and pushed him really hard and Justin was getting injured and they all agreed to vote Izzy off. So, yeah. Really not much change here. In the next episode was another Aftermath episode. Not everything else changes here.
Courtney is basically stalking, you know, Duncan, and also working with him. Duncan and Harold are still having their moments, and <clears throat> there's basically, well, they have Duncan actually. I mean, the uh, team actually. Okay, um, LaShawn and Owen still get captured. Owen rages like he did in the original version. He still goes hungry. The Screaming Gaffers actually lose this one. Let's say. And here's where it really changes. Corny convinced Duncan to vote off, you know, I don't know, maybe Bridget, I don't know. I think Bridget's likely to get out sooner. So I think in this timeline, Duncan convinces. Heather and Harold to vote off Bridget. And Bridget gets voted off. Because Duncan told Harold it was going to be Bridget or Lashana. And Harold said, I have, I have no choice. And since they were basically the... So Bridget definitely gets voted out this time around. Next episode will be the caveman. Oh, and also, not to mention, Owen doesn't, you know, get eliminated unfairly, so he's gonna make make it far in the game again. The next episode is the Caveman Challenge. Owen doesn't really play, I don't think, because otherwise they're gonna have someone go twice, so Owen gets to sit out. Chris thought, eh, I'll let Owen sit out, and he could eat, chew on this bone. I, I don't know, because I think and Chris actually like seeing Justin getting in pain. I, I I I don't know. This is kind of a tough one. In the next episode, which plays out the same. Episode 15. So I really can't say anything about this. And then... The merge happens. The only change is, real change is that... Owen is actually present this time. So I say that um okay, um it's still a reward challenge. Let's say that Lindsay wins. Owen's sad that he didn't get the cheese. But Lindsay takes Owen instead of Courtney. Lawsuit, Courtney's lawsuits never happened in this timeline. Same with Owens, but we'll get to that later. After that, the next episode will basically turn out the same. Owen doesn't win. Harold was close. Well, actually, let's say Harold does win if he didn't have to waste so much time. Courtney gets mad and makes convinces people so the guys are basically not outnumbered Duncan, Justin, and Owen all vote for Lashana Duncan thinks that you know Lashana's a threat and Owen kind of disagrees but thought that it was important to you know get rid of the, one of the girls in order to get, get an advantage and Harold was still the outcast so Lashana gets voted off in this timeline in the next episode is the aftermath episode Bridget becomes a host with Jeff? Well, actually, she does in the rest of the in the last aftermath, which is the finale. So she and so Owen is not in this ver in this in this timeline, but Heather and Lashana are. Jeff is so happy to to reunite with Bridget. So. 
the thing that he was basically a jerk, you know, to everyone didn't really happen. Or maybe it did, I don't know. Jeff Bridget didn't like that. If, you know, the thing where Jeff had the electric chair to bring ratings. Jeff, Jeff acted like Mr. Hollywood and was fame hungry. And was enjoying making his own show. So, yeah. Next up, uh, episode 19. Owen has to play, um, I don't know what he has to do. But. Heather's the, I mean, Beth's the ugly stepsister. Lindsay is Sleeping Beauty and. I don't know what Owen could be. In this, maybe. I, I don't know. You you guys come up with this one for me. Um, I say that Corny basically betrays Justin, who Justin started to fall in love with Corny, like in the original version. Owen, on the other hand, well, like kind of like Corny too, but still he kind of dislikes Corny for being mean. So that means Justin gets injured again. In the next episode, Get a Clue, still plays out the same except with Owen's inclusion. So let's say... Corny still acts really whiny and asks for a prize. Owen's like, oh, I want those Cheeto thingies. Corny says no. Owen is sad, but they at least get some food, but was interrupted and... Nah, I don't know. Episode 21 still kind of plays out the same, but let's say Owen didn't have to return. Corny did technically get immunity. And let's say in this timeline, Lindsay accidentally votes Beth off instead of herself. Because she was gonna. She, Harold, Beth, and Owen were supposed to vote Duncan off since Corny had immunity. So Beth gets voted off by accident. Beth, 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 Beth said that you know she wanted wants Lindsay to win. Next up is the one where you know to do the sumo wrestling. Duncan and Owen had to settle. Sorry, Duncan and Harold had to settle the rivalry. Owen wasn't the cl the class pet at this time. Courtney and Lin uh, Lindsay and Beth sw are swapped places in this episode. And I guess maybe... Harold and Duncan both kind of win the award and sect. Harold punches Duncan again, except with a different approach. Duncan's like, no way, this is mine. And Harold's like, he punches, he, he punches him. And wins and does that. So Harold definitely wins the challenge. Lashana Jr. still exists in the timeline, but releases him. So I think that could that would make sense since Owen isn't the mole or Chris's pet in this timeline since he wasn't voted off unfairly. Corny didn't have the lawsuits. So in the next episode, Space Owen. I say Cordy and Lindsay end up having an alliance, even though Lindsay didn't want to, but Cordy's like, we're outnumbered. Oh, God, this is really getting tough. I feel like I'm not doing, oh, I don't know, but anyways. Harold definitely helps win the challenge, and Owen didn't use his nunchucks to break the window in this timeline. So he wins the first part of the challenge. And the second challenge, where you know, they had to spin in the comet vomit thing. Corny chose the order, went with Harold first, and Harold kind of loses again. Then they went with Owen, then Duncan. Then, Lin Lindsay. 
Corny told Lindsay not to, but Corny actually, yeah, I don't know. Corny decides to let Lindsay go last. So that means Beth isn't there to kiss Harold, so... Harold didn't simp over Beth in this timeline since Beth's not here. That's another big change. But, since Harold was a little worried that Duncan was going to vote him off, and since Lindsay won immunity in this episode, she stayed in the longest. Courtney and Duncan agreed to, you know, try to vote Harold off, but Harold said, Why don't we just vote off Owen? Because... Gosh, after all, he made it stronger. Duncan's like, fine. We'll, we'll vote the strongest player off. Corny agrees to vote Owen since Owen doesn't like Corny. Corny thought getting rid of the audience favorite was the right thing to do. So all of them but Lindsay or actually Corny doesn't like Owen and decides to vote him off. I, I don't know. Or Corny, fine. Yeah, whatever. Owen's sad, but he knew it was the right. He knew it's how the game goes. So now, the animal hunting challenge. Harold knew he was at risk of being limit, being eliminated next. Duncan and Courtney have the you know the same remain the same in the game. With their animals. Harold Ackley gets the raccoon and Lindsay gets the bear. Ackley, no, Lindsay chooses the raccoon and Harold gets the bear. Harold kind of struggles with the bear at first. But in this timeline, he actually reveals he went to some sort of petting zoo summer camp or no, he doesn't really. Well, maybe he does. I don't know. But yeah, I think Lindsay's going to go with the raccoon. And since Lindsay won the last challenge, she gets the, gets the first pick. But then, yeah, Duncan gets the chameleon and Courtney gets the shark. I say Courtney, well, or Beth, uh, I say Lindsay's the first one to win the challenge. Courtney doesn't have her thing. Well, Courtney remains the same in the episode. So that means Lindsay had to, you know. So this is going to probably be a single elimination. Lindsay votes for Courtney. Harold votes for Duncan. And Duncan and Courtney both. Well, Duncan votes for Courtney too. Or no kind of does. Lindsay has no vote, so yeah, let's say Courtney gets eliminated in this episode. And Chris said, we should have a double elimination. So, Harold and Duncan have a tiebreaker. So, Harold wins this one. Because or no, let's say that that doesn't happen yet. So that means no, I I, I don't know. That's this is really tough. Jeez. But let's say for now it's a single elimination. So how will it play out if we vote either one of these two off? Lindsay will look like a potential winner. And so Courtney gets voted off with two votes. Both Harold and Duncan vote Courtney off. Corny still does the thing with Duncan with the with trying to change Duncan and Harold basically you know doesn't act expose Owen in this timeline so I think you know Duncan and Harold would have a tiebreaker if this was going to be a double elimination so they would have to see who's the smartest and let's say they do and Harold answers the question right Duncan answers it wrong well Duncan goes first Duncan's like 
gets the wrong answer and thought it was the right answer, but Harold gets the right answer. I, I, I don't know. But yeah, let's say Duncan gets eliminated in this one. So, it's the final two, which plays out the same except... Harold and Lindsay are in this time... are the finale in this timeline instead of Duncan and Beth. In the last episode, like would play the same... Let's say... Jeff and Bridget aren't present in this timeline because they do the same stuff. Um, Trent and Lashana barf again. Owen <clears throat> votes for Harold for being one of the guys. And since Harold didn't expose Owen, Owen definitely would have voted for him or maybe Lindsay, but since... Yeah, I, I don't know what Owen does, but... Duncan definitely votes Lindsay because he doesn't like Harold. Courtney would probably... Courtney didn't like either, so I'd say she didn't vote. And Harold didn't vote for Duncan or Beth in the finale. So let's say Courtney didn't... The same thing happened with Courtney, so she didn't vote for either of them. So she has no ink on her face. From the pen. Beth votes for Lindsay. Justin votes Lindsay, so... I guess... Three votes for Lindsay. Uh, Lasha uh Heather... Probably Harold, because she hates Lindsay for what she did to her in the first season, just by getting her head shaved. Brit, uh, Izzy votes for herself. DJ votes for Lindsay, I say, and Gwen definitely votes for Lindsay. So I say Lindsay definitely wins. So that's kind of how I would play it out to be. Um, this is basically the best I could do, and I know I didn't explain a lot, but you know I don't want to take like a long time. So yeah, this is kind of how I think it might have turned out. So yeah, Corny would be the main villain of the season. Justin would not be the semi-main villain. I think Lindsay would be the main protagonist. Maybe Harold, I don't know. Duncan the anti-hero. I don't know. So this is kind of how it will play out for me. So I'm going to say this is how the timeline of what if Courtney wasn't cut from the cast in the beginning of Total Drama Action. So, if you have any requests that I think I could do, whatever one I think doesn't look hard to do, or I, I don't know, well, whatever one I find more interesting to do, let me know in the comments, and also, let me know how you think it'll turn out in, in your own scenario in this sort of what if so this is basically it uh thanks for watching and have a good day and hope you all enjoy the video